Okay, so today I'm going to be turning water into wine with my hydraulic press. So the reason I decided to do this is because on one of my videos, one user jokingly said if I could next turn water into wine. But he was obviously joking, but I thought since I'm a chemical engineer by trade, I'm pretty sure that I can figure out a way to turn water into wine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to press this water bottle that I've hooked this tube to. So it's gonna press the water out of this tube, go through here, and I'm gonna put it into this vase filled with water also. And as the water goes into this vase, what should happen is the water turns to red wine. Let's see if I can get it to work. Okay, so here's my water bottle. Here's my tube going up. It should go up and around. The tube ends right here, you can see, and the water is down in there. Water turned into wine with a hydraulic press. Three, two, one. Going up the tube. Here it goes. Whoa, look at that. Whoa. It really turned red. It worked. It's amazing. <laughs> look at that. It's still filling up. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> it really worked. <laughs> Whoa, sucked back into the bottle. Look at that. <laughs> so it really worked. Water turned into wine with the hydraulic press. Look at that. Filled up the whole vase here. Amazing. Wasn't sure if it would actually work, but it did. Okay, so I'm gonna pour a little bit in this glass here. Okay, so that was cool and everything, but I don't actually drink wine, so I'm gonna just turn it back into water. There we go. How about that? Pretty easy, huh? Okay, so if you think I didn't just turn water into wine for reals, the first person to write down or describe the chemical reaction that I just did to turn the water red like that gets one million points. So, first person to do it in the comment section wins. All right, thanks for watching another episode of Hydraulic Press Action. Remember to subscribe if you haven't yet, like this video, share it, and remember to comment in the comment section, and I'll see you next time.